Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. What are you guys up to? Oh, just checking out your building. Okay, yeah, just who are you with? My son. I mean, are you with a... No, 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 we're just tourists. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did you get back here? How's it going guys? I'm again to press and we are coming to you today from the state capitol building in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm out with watching the watchman and uh, we're gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public buildings and property. Time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, January 23rd at 2.57 in the afternoon and it is 46 degrees and sunny in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is really a beautiful Capitol building, guys. You can see the mountains off in the distance. Let me just give you guys a little quick view of the neighborhood here. So evidently this uh, entrance is closed. We have to walk around to the other side of the building. But uh, just wanted to show you the uh, landscape around here. It's beautiful. Got the gatekeepers here. Mm. 
Mr. Watchman, sir? Thank you, sir. Visitor Center. We can check that on the way out. So we just moved here. My wife and I just moved here. This is my brother-in-law. This is my niece. Oh, so we just just we're chilling. How are we doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. good. Do I need to stop in and check with anybody or? Okay. Sounds good. Well, you seem like a nice guy. Hello. Good to, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you. You too. Good, thanks. All right, guys, I have a feeling you're in for a treat on this one. Can I just ask what the ceremony is? It's a graduation from the Post Academy. Oh, okay. This is just a so new officers. New officers. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. This is some building you guys have here. Yeah. Yeah. We've been to a lot of state capitals, and I gotta say, I think you guys win. Awesome. <laughs> no, this is amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. And we came on a good day. We have a swearing-in ceremony, and yeah. we didn't even know that was going yeah. on. Yeah. Where are you from? Colorado. Colorado. Well, yeah. part. Outside of Denver, about a half an hour. Cool. Yeah. I went to your capital a couple months ago. Did you? Mm -hmm. Cool. What brings you guys to Utah? Just traveling around, tourist, checking the place out first time. Cool. First time in Utah. What else are you guys going to do while you're here? Uh, we stopped in Provo, spent okay. the night there, and then we are here now and just going to get some dinner later on and check into the hotel and just play it by ear. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, you make plans to do one thing and then you might not run into two nice people like yourselves. And, <laughs> so you just kind of go with the flow. And, yeah. Right. Yeah. 
If you guys have time, you should go to Park City. Okay. Is there anything particular you would? So, like the ski, this, uh, oh, is it Sunday afternoon? So it might be nuts up there. But the ski jumps from the Olympics are up there. Okay. And we probably won't make it this trip, but we'll be back. Yeah. It's close. It's super close. I have a yeah. lot of family in Colorado. It's an easy road trip. Cool. Yeah. And I'm sorry, what were your names? I'm Bryn. And I'm Alexa. Bryn and Alexa. My name is Jason. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you guys. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you very much for the uh, smiles and the warm welcome to your city. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. And I'm sorry not to ignore you, young lady. What was your name? Karen. Karen Jason. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thanks for staying young. Well, young is in the heart, right, Karen? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, you all have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Take care. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good. We're just Perfect. taking a little tour of your building here. Okay. And can I just ask what your name is and what you do? My name is Sam. I'm the receptionist for the session. The receptionist for the session. Great. My name is Jason, Sam. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Anything uh, interesting to see in this office that we should be aware of? See you all. There's a really awesome seal on the wall right there. That's cool. Uh, the old beehive? Yep. Yeah. The beehive. Do you know the history of that? Why they why they use the beehive? What that story is behind that? Um, I do know that it symbolizes industry from okay. when the pioneers first came across America and settled in Utah. Okay. So busy as a bee kind yeah, of thing. Basically. Yeah, got you. All right, cool. Well, we appreciate your warm, friendly smile and the information. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, thank you for visiting. All righty. And are we can we walk back here and just look around? Is that? Um, I'm not entirely sure because those are the set offices back there. Okay. Um, so sort if, you do, if you do, they're probably going to kick you out. Really? I'm just telling you. How would you know? It's secured. It's usually secured. Is it really? Because then, yeah, with that, well, you know what we do? Because we travel around and we go to state capitals all the time. This is my son. Oh, cool. And uh, we always look for restricted access signs, so we don't want to cross those lines. Yeah. But if I don't see anything that says restricted and I see a wide open door, I usually walk right through it. Unless somebody tells me not to. So. I don't work here, so you can do whatever you want. Cool. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm kind of afraid of Sam. No, I'm kidding. So I'll just pick a buster. If somebody wants to throw me out, they can throw me out. That's fine. We'll just, I'll just walk in. And I haven't been here. It'll be a long time before I'm back in Utah. So I got to take advantage of my uh, tour while I can, you know, but I appreciate you. Thank yeah, you. Take it easy. So some interesting portraits here. Beautiful view out this window, huh? You're yeah. facing the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> do you work here at the building? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask what you what you do? I do computer support. Oh, so you're the IT guy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the IT guy or just one of many? The one for the the one for the Senate. One for the Senate. There you go. Well, my name's Jason. I don't want to be rude and not introduce oh, myself. Greg, this is my son Ben. Nice to meet you. Just I'm sorry, Greg. Yeah, Greg. Cool. First time we've ever been in Utah or Salt Lake City. So we're just checking the place it's out. It's a really nice building. The whole, I'll tell you what, this whole thing is picturesque. I mean, it's gorgeous. They spent a lot of money to keep it up. I'm um, sure. I was just saying I can't even imagine what the heating and cooling bills are in this <laughs> building. And they keep it nice and toasty. Yeah, so they remodeled about, what, about 15 years ago, 14 okay. years ago. But they cleaned everything up. And it looks like it. It's, been, it's spectacular. We go to a lot of different uh, Capitol buildings, and this is by far the nicest I've been to, for sure. We were in uh, Wyoming last month in Cheyenne. 
The other building's nice is the city county. I don't know if you've been down there. Which building is it? The city county building. Okay. It's a they they did a lot of money restoring that. It's okay. Really nice. It's we actually just stone building and it's really nice looking. Cool. So we'll go check that. I appreciate the tip. Yeah. No, we just rolled into town about a half an hour, forty five minutes. Behind that, they have a. Uh, a, a new style library that's kind of cool. I think we passed the library, right? Yeah, I think so I it's just that. in front of that. It's a real modern building? Yeah, real yeah. modern looking building. Very cool. Yeah, no, it's nice how they blend the old style and the modern, and it's, it's a beautiful city. I, I would have never Thanks. thought, yeah. Are you born and raised here? Pretty much. I came from Idaho when I was younger. Another guy from Idaho. Idaho must be empty because there's so many people I meet well, from so Idaho. Close it's to here. Just the only potatoes left, but I my guess. My parents right? moved here because there was no work you know, gotcha. at the time. Yeah. Well, so you're glad they did. You seem like yeah, a happy guy. So. You seem like you're enjoying your life here in Salt Lake yeah. City. Yeah. Cool. Right on. Okay, so where are you guys from? Colorado. Oh, well, not no. very far. No, no. Well, we just moved to Colorado seven months ago from New York. Oh. Well, that's yeah. a large step. Yeah, it was a big step. Yeah, I, I drove uh, four days of driving with the biggest U-Haul they have, biggest trailer on the back of my Suburban. That's a long trip. Yeah, four days. But it was fun. You know, we were looking forward to it for a long time. I actually uh, wanted to move out west when I was 25 years old, and then life just kept happening, you know. And we got to the point where all of a sudden we could do it, and we just decided to make the move. So. Great. Colorado's great. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's nice. Utah's great, too, so far. This is, you know what you might be able to tell me? I don't, the mountain range here is no longer the Rockies, is it? It's part of the Rockies. Um, it's the uh, Uintas. What is it called? Uintas Mountain Range. Uintas Mountain Range. That's the name I was looking for because I didn't yeah. know what it was. Yeah, yeah, cool. I said the Rocky Mountains, and my son said, I don't think these are the Rockies anymore. So no, it's still part of the Rocky Mountains. It is? Yeah. Cool. Well, very cool. We appreciate your time, and well, uh, thank you very much well, for... I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. Yeah, we are. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here, too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Well, have a nice day. Have a wonderful nice day. You. Nice to meet you. What's down here? This is Senator Deirdre Henderson. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. What are you guys up to? Oh, just checking out your building. Okay, yeah, just who are you with? My son. I mean, are you with a... No, 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 we're just tourists. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did you get back here? Introduced ourselves to Sam and said we're gonna take a walk down the hallway and look around. Sam. Yeah, Sam, the guy at the, at the reception there. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we're just, it's a, I'll tell you what, we travel periodically to, our mission is to try to go to all uh, state capitals. I've been to 29. Have you? 29? Yeah. We're at uh, three. I think we, we just, we were in Cheyenne, Wyoming last month. Um, but I got to tell you so far, I mean, I've only been to a couple, including New York, where I'm originally from, but this is spectacular. I mean, this building is just yeah. incredible. So where do you live? Where, Colorado. You, right outside of Denver. Yeah. Okay. Now we do. I mean, I'm from New York originally, but. Yeah, you can tell by my Denver accent, right? <laughs> no, there was a Denver accent. No, I'm being, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, but this is great, and I got the, I, Salt Lake City. I mean, I've never the first time we've ever been in Utah, and it's just, I mean, this is picturesque. It's beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah, it Are you guys born and raised here? I'm not from Utah, but I live down here now. Cool. Yeah, I lived all over. I'm here now. Nice. Yeah. Cool. It seems like everybody's from Idaho. That I. <laughs> I'm from Idaho. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just said that there was the IT guy was out here, Greg, uh -huh. was this? and uh, I said to him, well, is anybody, anybody left in Idaho? Is it like just the potatoes that everybody, because I, I literally can't tell you how many people I've shook hands with today that said they're from Idaho. Yeah. It's just, it's today's trend, I don't know. A lot of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. I won't take any more of your time. All right. Ladies, have a great day. Thank you. Very nice. I wonder where this. Open it up and see. Goes out to Probably goes back out into the hallway. Yeah, yeah there you go. Beautiful. Sam's gonna think we're still in there. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna shut my camera off for a second here and uh, hit the little boys' room, and we'll be right back with you.
All right, well, that was the second floor. And uh, we're going to head up to the top now. Another shot of Old Glory waving in the breeze, as she should. <laughs> this is truly spectacular. What's YouTube? No, I'm just kidding. Exactly, yeah, right. How are you? My name is Jason. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you, Matt. Yeah. Are you, you work here at the building? Yeah, I work up here. Cool. What do you, you mind if I ask what your position is? So I'm in the Division of Finance. Okay. I manage the uh, state's credit cards. So. Oh, yeah. there you go. That's Well, it sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. yeah keeps you busy. Right, yeah. Well, bills. since you're being cordial and you have a smile on your face, yes, we are doing a First Amendment audit. Oh, okay. That's why. Have you heard of that? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I haven't, actually. No? What is the First Amendment audit? So what we do is is we are huge supporters of our Constitution, um, and we feel like, as uh, I believe most people do, the Constitution's really taken a beating these days, um, and there are some uh, unique times that we're in right now. So what we do is is we've chosen the First Amendment, uh, as our way of exercising our constitutional rights. So what we do is we go to government facilities, government buildings, jails, FBI, federal, whatever it is, uh, state capitals. We're actually at some point going to try to hit them all, but oh. we're up to three. Oh. So we'll, we'll get <laughs> so there. Started. Yeah, we just okay, started. Start. Okay. Um, and we go into, we stay in publicly accessible areas. We don't, we're very cautious about not going into restricted areas because we respect that. Yeah. And we go in and take pictures and take video and see what kind of a reaction we get from the folks at the facility, from the employees, from our public employees. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And we hope to get good reactions, yeah. uh, which get us zero views on YouTube. <laughs> so then we also don't mind getting the bad reactions if they present themselves, because those do get us the views on YouTube. So. Exactly. Yeah. So we try our best to be cordial and friendly and professional. And, you know, we hope we find like-minded people, but sometimes you... Oh, come yeah. across some interesting things. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cameras freak people out. Oh, they do, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying. I honestly am still trying to figure out why. And it's funny, too, because there's so many cameras. Like, every every corner of this building, the inside of the building and outside of the building has right. a camera on. Right. But yet, if somebody comes carrying one through, they're all paranoid. And you know what's funny so about funny. The, the cameras that you have here, okay? I said to I don't know how many people... Um, but we're on 40, 50 cameras, whatever it is. Yeah. All in the, and they always say to me, yeah, but those are security cameras. They don't go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> right? Because this is this will go on YouTube. So my answer to that is that's not true because I can file a Freedom of Information Act request for the camera footage and put that on YouTube and do anything I want with it. And there's other, Not that I'm going to or yeah. I would, yeah. but you could. Oh, yeah. So, totally you know, I, I tend to believe people that have an issue with cameras have other issues and people that don't have issues with cameras probably have nothing to hide and feel good about what they're doing and feel good about themselves, such as yourself. Your shoulders are down, you're relaxed, <laughs> you're laughing, you're having a nice conversation with us and that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, I think it's very interesting to take my son, or he just turned 16, and you know, okay. the two of us travel around the country together and do these things, and it's building memories and education for both of us, and, oh, yeah. and it's a pleasure to meet folks like yourself. Yeah. yeah. Now, one thing you said about the people that are kind of uptight about cameras, I don't know if I can agree with, because my wife hates to be on camera, and I'm pretty sure she doesn't have anything to hide. <laughs> she, like my wife, uh, probably feels like she might have something to hide, maybe a pound or two, or, a, or her hair's not yeah, perfect that day, or, right? 
but you know we, we love them just the way they are and they're absolutely perfect so I see no reason why anybody shouldn't be and you know what it is like you said by the time you get home today when you leave here you're gonna be on how many God knows 100 200 cameras by the time you get to your house and who get, so my theory is you behave yourself you don't do anything wrong and when you're in a professional environment such as this you act like you're on camera even if you're not and, and then you have nothing to worry and then you can be like you and be relaxed and happy and you know and the other thing is is from your side of it not us particularly because I'm a little biased when it comes to myself but you could also wind up meeting some very nice people exactly yeah, yeah. and finding out about things you never knew about yeah. so I think uh, open dialogue and communication is key for all of us so that's what we do to answer your question that was the long version well, great. so is yeah. there a place I can go to see these videos there is you might want to write it down I don't know if you have yeah, let a me see. or yeah I, I see I still say write it down type it into your phone yeah. <laughs> It's actually my uh, channel on YouTube is the name of the village that I'm from in New York. Oh, okay. So I'll spell it for you because it's, it's an old Indian Montaukit tribe word. So it's Amagansett, A-M-A-G-A-N-S-E-T-T. -T. Are you on YouTube? It probably came up already. Oh, I'm just looking up Google on here. Amagansett Press. Actually, I should look up. If you tap Amagansett Press, that's us. Oh, there us. we go. Yep. And there we go. This is you. Okay. Yep. Well, check that out. That's us, yeah. Okay. We have plenty of video. We have, I think we have 174 videos up or something. Yeah, so oh, plenty for you to look at. Yeah. Some of them are very pleasant, cordial interactions. Some of them not so much. Oh, you're in Colorado. <laughs> we live in Colorado. Oh, you live? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So you'll have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. And your wife will tell you that's exactly why she doesn't want to be on camera. Exactly. Right? So they, yeah. <laughs> watch, watch them alone in your office. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure meeting you, sir. Yeah, you too. Thank you so yeah, much. Like you you. Be here. Is this the only day you're here? This, you? Yeah, at this building, yes. Yeah, we're not going to come back to the state capitol yeah, again. The I have, I have, on Monday. That'll be exciting. I wish I was here, but we, you know, we're not too far away. Yeah. But we also have 45 more capitals to hit. Oh, yeah. And the contiguous, so. You're trying to get it done in a year? Or what's no, no rush. No rush. I hope it takes a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's good spending time with the boy, and it's you know, as long as I'm doing that, I'm happy. Right. So yeah. Well, and I, I just you know, honestly, you're very. We appreciate the cordial welcome to your city. It's a nice welcome. Your smile and your oh, professionalism yeah. means a lot, and hopefully that's uh, so far. Everybody we've met here is along that same vein, and I hope that's a trend that runs through the staff here. And you guys are all a happy bunch doing I your like, thing. Yeah, I like to feel. I like to think that uh, the majority of us are. Good. Pretty easy going. Yeah, well, so far, so good with us. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thank you, sir. You have a good day. Yeah, Take care. I don't know when the last time anybody said it to you was, but I just want to thank you for what you do. You're very much appreciated. It's important work you're doing. Just a little... A little construction. No, you, well, you know what? If you, if you didn't do what you did, there'd be plenty of people upset about it. Right? You keep the place going. Fixing it up, cleaning it up. We're constantly fixing it. Yeah. Uh, do you work for the city? No, we're a private company. Private company? Well, good. Well, thank you. Thank you for what you do. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. guys um, that's the state capital in Salt Lake City Utah um, I'm just still soaking it all in I mean beautiful beautiful building beautiful scenery spectacular if anybody uh, has any thoughts of traveling to Salt Lake City come on down it's a nice place to be um, Yeah, so if you guys uh, enjoy these videos and you like what we do, um, I invite you to share them. Uh, please comment and uh, like and subscribe. And if you subscribe to our channel, um, make sure you hit the notification bell because then you'll be notified of our new videos as they come out. You'll get an email. Uh, do the same for watching the Watchman's channel. He's uh, really coming up in the world, doing good things on his channel. and. Uh, 
getting a lot of great feedback and support so I invite you to check him out as well and uh, I think that's gonna do it for now so it's getting a little late in the day we're gonna hop back in the truck check into the hotel and uh, tomorrow we'll be back out on the road and see what we can find for you so for now coming to you from the state capitol building in Salt Lake City Utah watching the watchman Amagansett Press. Catch you on the next one, guys. Out.